Hello everybody! Again, it's me, Alexi, today for a tutorial regarding alignment. So, short description of the difference between the alignment and maybe a BLAST query, as we saw last time. The BLAST query is basically a, a great tool for trying to match to a large database a known sequence. However, when you have multiple sequences that you know actually the origin and their description, and you simply want to compare them together, the tool you need to use is not BLAST, but this time a very similar tool which is called Aligner. An Aligner can be either simple, just doing two different uh, sequences, or it can be multiple sequence Aligner, allowing for you to query three or more sequences. The sequencer we'll use today is called Tea Coffee. It's offered uh, in various flavor, uh, allowing you to do different things uh, in, in, with different kinds of precisions. Okay, so you can download the file hopping on uh, their main website, Tea Coffee. Just use your favorite browser here okay, under Tea Coffee to the, the, the extreme right will have the download option. You can use it online. However, of course, we want to use it through the command line. Here, it's not offered yet for Windows. So if you have Windows, you need to use a, a virtual machine. Personally, I recommend VirtualBox. Uh, we'll, we'll either have a, a tutorial right now or very soon regarding how to use uh, virtual machines on different, uh, on different OS operating systems. Uh, so you can either download on Linux or on Mac. Personally, I run on Mac. So I'll download the Mac. It's a very, oh, it's not this one, it's the one here. So it's a very easy install, it's a DMG. Therefore, once it's downloaded, it's simply gonna pop up a wizard. Of course, you might have problems with, uh, with Apple saying it's not from a trusted source because it's not from the Apple store. Um, but uh, again, just open your, uh, your, your, your system preferences and change the right to the file. So right here, I, as you can see, I've downloaded it before, but just open it. So it should just be a driver. Open it like this. So here I've already opened it. But if not, if you're not getting the option here to never be asked again, simply what you need to do is try to open it. Okay. It should not work. What you do is simply hop in here on the Apple, System Preferences, go back, security and privacy, and allow apps being downloaded from X, and here you should have the option to write tea coffee and just accept. Once you open it, you should have this nice wizard. Next, here you just read through carefully, of course, through the license agreement. I'll skip over it as I read it before. I accept the agreement, yes. Next, you decide where you want it. Personally, I'll just accept it right there your email address. So you can write the email address that you prefer. Actually, I wrote with, uh, with both my, uh, my academic and both uh, uh, all mail and a Gmail, and there was absolutely no difference. Actually, both of them passed. I think it's just to send you information if there's any problem, okay? So I'll skip over it. Of course, I don't want to share with everybody my email address. But once it's done, just press on next, and it should nicely download exactly in the directory that you want, okay? Should have take about 15 to uh, 20 seconds. Hello guys, so now I've, uh, I've opened my terminal. And if you can see, I'm in my home directory right now. Now, if it should actually be added to your path, so if I write just T, I don't have that many options. If you have like a lot of options, of course, don't show them all. I should have this option, T underscore coffee, okay? Now, once you do it, you have a lot of options, a large, large amount of options, okay? You can do a lot of things with T coffee, ranging from simple alignments to single pair alignments, slow, biphasic, and uh, muscles, which is specialized for proteins. You can do cluster W pair, cluster low, cluster W2. If you guys are familiar with the cluster W, web interface, you can do multiple sequence alignment, MSA, in different flavors, you can company with dblast, so there's a lot of options. If you want to just read a simple one, very simple one, you can use the, the data set that either from your blast, 
the BLAST data set, so the BLAST practice data set uh, FASTA, with which if we show uh, uh, FASTA uh, data set, it's already a bunch of sequences, so we can try to align them. It's very short, so whatever your computer, whatever space you have, it should not take a lot of space, actually. We can look at how big it is. Uh, pu -pu 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 -pu. So, cured some stuff, and it's, it's pretty small, okay? So you should not have any problem, of course. So if you want to download the data set, it should be available on our website, sudanpharma.ca under tutorials. This web page might have changed, but uh, you can uh, just press here on Blast Practice Data and it's going to download right here. Once you decompress it, it should be available to you uh, here under uh, Blast Practice Data Set FASTA. Okay? So if we run it, we can just take coffee slash in and just run our Blast underscore practice data set one FASTA, okay? And as you see, rapidly as it is, it's just outputting our output file. So as you see, sequence one, which is we can actually better associate uh, if, there, if your FASTA header is in a single word, the advantage here would be having an underscore. But as you see, all the sequence align different ways. When they're all exactly perfect, they have a star. When they're very similar in properties, they have two dots. And when they're slightly similar, they have one dot. And when they're not, of course, there is nothing. Of course, the more you have, the less chance you have of actually getting these. But the, uh, it gives you a great idea, for example, of this uniqueness of here of having the cysteine bond nicely aligned. Once you're less, what you should have is have a blast practice data set underscore one dot HTML. You can actually open it, just press open. And with this, it should open in uh, your browser, with your favorite browser, an actually nicely colored uh, report that you can actually use and send to your, uh, your PI or just put in your report, okay? So this is how you can do nice alignments from the command line. I hope this helps. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.